Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and please be a witness for that for over 200 videos I made so far on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers, and some people not even subscribers, but I still make the video for them. Completely fine, just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to learn how to do anything yourself without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell, never will. I don't have any paid memberships, any courses to sell, nothing. Everything I do provide is completely free. You just have to skip around some advertisements, but that's the case most of the videos, if not all of them on YouTube, right? Including the entertainment ones you like to watch, which I don't create. I have a couple of jokes every now and then, but I don't really consider them entertainment. But I'll let you decide, it's your choice, and I respect your decision. Just a like button if this video helped you out, and I'm sure it will. Even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to provide you the information you need in order to do the thing you're trying to do. And here I am again back with the most requested video, which is how to add order on WhatsApp button on the product page on your Shopify store and without using any apps or anything like that by using our own custom code so you can customize it however you want. If you are familiar with CSS, and it's really easy, especially with colors and layouts and everything. And this is a button actually that will include the product page as well. I mean the product link and the product name. So once the customer clicks on order on WhatsApp, he will send a message, he will take him to WhatsApp first, they send a message and that message will have like, hello, blah, 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 I'm interested in this pro product with the name, then the link for the product where he clicked on the order on WhatsApp button. That's really good, right? And without any more talking, let's just get to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard in here. They have here down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So every call I do share, including this one, uh, I do demonstration on down team because it's the most used one, also it's the most requested one. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free Shopify teams, the most used ones, which is, which is refresh, spotlight, taste, and sense, and, and trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try the tricks on all of these teams, behind the scenes. I don't do that in the videos, I don't bore people because it's gonna be like half hour video. I only do demonstration down team, but before I recorded this video, I did actually try it on all of these teams, one by one. Yes, I did that. And I do that to make sure that even if you're not using down team, you're using one of these, it should work for you just fine. And I also have to say this in the beginning so I give you that peace of mind because you're gonna see me doing it on down team in the video and you might be thinking, oh, maybe it's not working for the others. No, it is. And here is your peace of mind and without the way, let's just get to it, show you how to add the order on WhatsApp button that will send a message with the link, with the name for the product where he clicked on the order on WhatsApp button. And this is the Shopify store where we will do the trick and this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks. So everything that you see on the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials. Literally everything, every little thing, I did it in tutorials. So if you saw anything in the Shopify store that you think it looks good and you want to implement it on your store as well, just check out the channel. Because once it's here on the Shopify store, that means the video is already done and it's already posted on the channel. I don't, remo I don't remove the changes from here. I do keep them so people can see them. But what I'm talking about, let me click on this product for example. Oh yeah. Interested in this? Random people, X amount of people watching this product right now, and this will change based on the number you set it. If I reload the page, you see, let me reload again. You see, so if you are interested in this, I did make a video on how to do that without using any apps again by using our own custom code. Yes, as well as rounded corners, every little thing, everything, I can't mention them all. But what I'm talking about here is adding a button here or down here, depends on where you want it. Uh, oh yeah, shaking effect. I did that in a video again. So <laughs> I said it's too many to mention. Over 200 Shopify customization videos. So we will add a button here, same size as the add to cart and buy it now button, but different color for the WhatsApp logo color. So it will be green button here saying order on WhatsApp. Once he clicks on it, it's gonna take them to WhatsApp to send a message and the message by default will be hello, I'm interested in this product. The name should be like Anchor uh, Anchor Bracelet Man, which is this one we're accessing, as well as the link for the product. So we'll keep this page open. Actually, no we don't. 
let's just get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are on Shopify dashboard already, click on online store, teams, and click on customize button right here. And it will take you to the team editor. And in here, we will uh, access the product page. So click on home page from the top here and click on products and click on default product page. Let me change the product to the other one. This one it has too many pictures. Yeah, this one is clean. So we will add the button in here, as I said, on top of add to cart button. So in order to do that, first thing you see here, it says product information. Let me zoom in on it. It's a variant picker, price, uh, buy button description, share. Click on add block in here. Simply click on add block, it will show you this prompt. And in here, click on custom liquid option. And it will show you uh, a section where you need to paste in some snippets of code. And in here, we need to paste in our call. And we're gonna get that call, obviously, from description box. Simply scroll down description box and you will see a call number one. I repeat, call number one because there is two calls in this video. So click on it and it will take you to this page right here. And this code again is completely free. No pay please, no share please, not like that. But before we copy this code, let me actually explain what it is. So in here, plus 40, you see this is a number. So make sure to change this number to your number where the message is gonna come in. Your number, I mean, the number for the Shopify store owner. So make sure to replace this with the number and make sure to include the international version. That's really important. Otherwise, people from outside the country will not be able to send you the message. So make sure to include the international number. It's really important for the number, I mean your number. And then here it says text, hello. And if you notice, there is like 20%, 20%, 20%. So 20% is space. I mean space, this one, space. That's 20%. So the code doesn't read space. Instead, he reads space as 20%. So it says here, uh, I, 20% space, world, 20% space like to buy this product and this will include the product name so obviously you can customize this however you want you can say like i am interested in this product but make sure instead of typing space each time by using this no type in oops type in 20 percent percent logo percentage logo then 20. that's how the code will read space so again Edit this however you want, just instead of typing space between each word, type in 20%. And without no space, as you can see, I directly percent si uh, percenter sign, 20, and without any space again, world, just like you see right now. So make sure to edit this however you want. And this one is what was written on the button, order on WhatsApp. You can edit this as well, no worries. But I'm sure you will keep it as a order on WhatsApp, right? So without the way, select the whole code in here. Let me select the whole thing. Make sure to select the whole code. Right click and copy. We'll get back in here and paste it in our custom code. And make sure to, to change the number. Don't forget to do that. So after that, click on the save button and check it out. This is, it looks like a link, right? It's not that good. No worries. And it's here, as you can see, we want it on top of add to cart, or at least I want it. You can add it anywhere you want, but it's gonna look good. It's gonna look better on top of add to cart. So to do that, simply uh, click on hold, then drag it up on top of below the quantity selector. Yes. Let me see. Yeah, now it looks good, but it's still a link, right? We need to be a button in here. No worries, I got you. Just click on the save button first. And we will add the styling now for this order on WhatsApp. So get back in here, click from exit. And after that, click on the three dots on left of customize, then click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And then here we need to find the specific file. Instead of looking at the folders, you might get dizzy. Simply use the search bar at the top left corner. And again, I have to repeat this for the million times. It's gonna be either base.css or team.css or style.css. In some rare custom made teams, gonna be custom.css. But most of them use base now, or team or style, most of them use base. So type in base, and here it is, base.css. Click on it, a bunch of CSS code will show up. After that, scroll all the way down. Let me drag this. Oh yeah, if you are interested in removing the scroll bar in your Shopify store, I already made that video. So scroll all the way down, 
and in here we need to create some space to paste in our code to do that simply click front of the last line here which is in my case closing bracket then hit enter on your keyboard here we go we have a completely new line and where we're gonna paste in the code and where are you gonna get the code from obviously from description box simply scroll down description box and you will see a link named this code number two i repeat code number two click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page again with this beautiful code as you can see and this is the styling for the code and there is many things that you can read in here that's really easy the padding uh, there is some things that you can customize and there is some things that you shouldn't edit because it's gonna break the, the, the button, it's gonna break the functionality of the button. So in here, or make it like look weird or something. So the padding is the sizing for the button, bigger or smaller, 11, 30, which is the exact size for the add to cart and buy it now button. So it, it's gonna look identical to this buttons by this size right here. And you will see that in a couple of seconds. Font size, you already know what font size is, is for the order on WhatsApp text is going to be on the button in here. Here it says add to cart by now. The button will say uh, order on WhatsApp. And in here, uh, the color, which is the text color, not the button color. The button color is this one, background color. And this is the color for the WhatsApp logo. You can customize, change the logo if you want, obviously. I mean the color for the WhatsApp button. And in here, border, which is the border, border is a border, so it is, is one pixel, which is the size of the border. You can make it bigger or smaller, and this one is the color for the border as well. In my case, I'm going to keep it like this, and this is the border radius, which is the corners. If you want them like rounded corners, add here one or two or three, depends on how rounded you want them. In my case, I'm going to keep it as zero because this one doesn't have rounded corners. It's gonna look identical, as I said, to the add to cart and buy now button. And let me get back in here. Okay, so the last thing I should mention is the text, yeah. The text on the button is gonna be uppercase. Order, it's gonna say order on WhatsApp in uppercase. If you wanna remove it, if you wanna remo remove it, simply remove this uppercase and type in none, just like this one. Simply type in none instead of uppercase and it's not gonna uh, show the text as uppercase. And again, this is the hover. Once you hover over the, the button with the mouse cursor, and this is the background color for the button once you hover over it. And this is the color for the text color once you hover over that. And this is the border radius, which is the rounded corners I explained earlier. So uh, this is rounded corners on the hover. I'm gonna keep it like that just for demonstration. After that, with the out of the way, select the whole thing, right click, copy, get back in here, paste it at the bottom of the file, base.css as I said, click on save button, wait for a couple of seconds, we'll get back in here now, reload the page, and see the magic happen. Check it out. Order on WhatsApp. Same as, same size, same exact size with the add to cart and buy it now. If I click on it, it's gonna take me to WhatsApp, as you can see, as I said, make sure to change the number, and this is the message as I said. Hello, I would like to buy this product. Anchor, bracelet, man, and this is the link for the product. As you can see, this one, and this is the title. And this is the hover effect once you hover over them. It does show a rounded corners and changed in colors. And that's how you add order on WhatsApp button on the product page for your Shopify store without using any apps or anything like that. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop one below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.